garbage. Oh, garbage. What an absolute load of garbage this shaver is. It wasn't cheap. I paid about 85 quid for this shaver about two years ago, something like that. Philips. Wet and dry and God knows what else. It's supposed to be the dog's bees. Um, but no, what a piece of crap. This is the second one of these I've had. The first one packed up, I loved it. Um, this one, I'm gonna strip it down, see if I can fix it because, ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, I don't wanna buy another one. Philips brand, it used to be good years ago. You know, it used to have a good name, but I've had oh, numerous things now. I had a washing machine, um, the Whirlpool stuff, absolute rubbish it all packed up so i know with shavers it's a little bit different um supposedly a market leader but uh well going from experience yeah not good let's take it apart let's see what we can find this thing it's it's like a dead brick it's fully charged but does nothing a little bit of compressed air just to clean all the crud out of here yeah, look at that. Let's just give it a quick... Uh... It's got some of it out. For it then, let's get this thing to bits and see what we can find. See what's going on inside. Yeah. Right then, what we got? A couple of screws down the top. Uh, do -do. Uh, let's have a look in here. Is that one? One. Two. Uh, for my shoe. Uh, one at the back there. Let's have that one out as well. Right, three screws. Oh, okay, this is coming apart nice and easy. Tops off. Get rid of that. Oops, there is it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Can it come apart now? What's going to happen? <laughs> Zebedee. That's rid of that bit, we don't need that, do we? Here we go, so it's just a case of just going around the edge of this, it looks like there's a couple of clips on the side. So we just work his way around, get this clamshell off. Oh, there it is. There it is. So that wasn't too painful. Okay. And then this bit is just what's holding this in here. Oh, again, it's just a couple of little clips at the sides holding the middle bit in from the outer bit. Come on, you little rascal. Let's be having you. Got it, that one. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. So, there's that out of the way. That's the casing off. Well, now we're left with this, this thing here. So, that's the switch assemblies behind that. It's got a nice detent, so it's clicking away. Let's whip this plastic silicon -y cover off the top. Oh, that's crap. Look, that's broke already. What a load of old garbage that is. Telling you, Phillips, piece of crap. Thing is, I never get this wet. I've never used it in the shower. So why it would pack up, why the button, it's either going to be a real poor quality button. Oh, God, these have just gone soft. 
They've gone dead brittle. They've gone really brittle. It's absolute crap, isn't it? Let's try getting it away from this side. There it comes. Save a few of them, it'll go back together. If I bust them all, we're going to struggle, aren't we? Come on, baby. Come on, you can come apart. I know you can. Okay, so that's rid of that. Warts and all. And here we have the little circuit board. And if the, I mean, I'm thinking it's either gonna be this, well, I can't see it being the battery because when I've got this plugged in, when it's plugged in, it still doesn't work. So you have gotta be thinking it's gonna be the switch. Really, which is, Nice and easy to sort out because all it is is a push button clicky switch there and two soldered connectors either side or two points of contact. So first of all I'm going to just short this out and see if it starts. I've got a little piece of wire. Let's just strip the ends back on it. So let's see what we've got going on. Let's make a little, a little jumper up there like that. And let's just touch either side of this switch and see if we can't get it to fire up. Let's see if it does anything. Not a diddler. Right, what we'll do is just uh, check this battery first of all. Let's see if we've got any, any voltage in it. See if it's got any poke, any power. Let's have a look. What is it doing? Hello. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, would you believe that? Does that mean... All I've done is just touched this on the back of the battery and it's come to life. So does that mean we've got a bad connection to the battery? Well, it's switch is fine. So the battery now does sound like it's a bit low. Doesn't sound like it's got full power. What is the voltage in the battery? Mm, we've got a bit of a result going on here. We have something happening. Well, the battery's showing it's got 3.7 volts. 3.7, and it's... Uh, what the hell? I mean, I'd say it's a... It can't be a... What? Well, the motor's a 3.6 volt motor. What? That makes no sense. Oh, oh yeah, Jesus. It's pretty like a good one now. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? What's going on? What's the voltage of it running? 3.6? Well... What is going on? That sounds to me now like it's fully loaded again. That, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Well, it's holding, it's got plenty of power. Could it be the brushes were sticking in the motor? And just by fiddling with it, it's come back to life. 
Oh, it's indecisive, and I don't like that. I don't like... I don't like non-conclusive answers. Ah, <sighs> dear, dear. Dry joint, motor wiring. If we look at these connections on the back of the, the board, I mean, they look all right. I can't see anything. Uh, these are your two motor points here. And the, the battery is literally, I mean, it's, it's soldered straight to the, to the board and it's, oh, uh, it's uh, spot welded to the back of the battery. So that isn't an issue. <laughs> what was wrong with you, my little friend? You, are, you ain't no friend of mine. I hate you, you stupid thing. Ah. What was wrong with it? What was wrong with it? It's really working like a good one now. Well, let's put it back together again. Non conclusive. But she works. For how long, we will not know. And these clips have gone back down yet. Whoa. And it still works. Oh my goodness me. <sighs> Phillips, what a wonderfully crap piece of kit. Absolute garbage, honestly. Paying all that dollar out for something that you think is going to be good. And uh, the thing is with this, this is what gets me. Oh, I can't put that in back to front lock. What an idea. Yep, yeah, the thing that gets me with this Phillips, and why I, why I bought the, I mean, did not learn my lesson. Why did I buy another Phillips? Well, when I was, God, about 19, I got given a, a Phillips shaver, a little two two chopper little two chopper shaver and it got two double a batteries in it and i'm not joking i had it for years years and years and years and it was absolutely brilliant not a bit of trouble at all so i thought to myself you know what i'll go and get a uh i'll spend a bit of money on a on a decent one um to which you know i get i get this well i don't i've got the other one similar to this and uh, and it packed up. So you know, I thought it was going to be okay. I thought it would be all right. This is a bit uh, a bit crappy. Oh, that's gone in better that time. Yeah, that feels better. That's snapped in all right now. Yeah, and uh, so that's why I bought this, you know. But then, of course, it that, that one packed up, so I, I bought, you know, I bought another one, bit the bullet, thinking maybe just a bad egg. And then to buy another one and, and it pack up, you know, that's just that's wrong. That's wrong, that is. <sighs> Right, how did this thing just pinged out, didn't it? This thing shot out of there like a... Oh. Like a jack-in-the-box. Can we get it back in again? Which way around does it go? It goes like that, because that flips up, doesn't it? So... <laughs> the lighting is shocking in my, in my garage at the minute. I can't see what I'm doing. That's got to go down there like that, and around there like that, and in there like that. Yeah. I think we're there with that. And uh, top back on there. Let's get some screws back in.
temperamental like that, I mean, what an absolute bloody load of crap. Temperamental as you like. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Do as you're told. Get back on there like that. That's it. Just behave yourself. Oops, and the screws fell off now. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I stick that back in there. Don't give away the way I don't need that anymore, do I? I don't need that no more. Because this little fella's decided it's going to play ball again. I mean, I don't know. So... Oh dear, and it lives. Yeah, it's working, it's cooking. Well, there we go. What about the uh, flipper did flopper dot? Oh yeah, choo choo again. <laughs> so, um, temperamental Phillips rubbish shaver is now working again. What did we find? Not a great deal. There must have been something. I'm thinking brushes, motor brushes had stuck because the switch was fine. We played with the switch. I shorted the switch out. It didn't work. As soon as I disconnected the, the the board and touched or went in the back and just touched the back of that battery something whether it was because i pulled the wires away a bit more released something inside and i'm thinking it's the brushes in the motor bingo come back to life so either way it's a result it bloody works which is uh yeah there we go lives to fight another day See how long it lasts. I'll give you an update. If it packs up tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But, um, yeah. Oh, well, she's working. Saved a few quid. I ain't got to buy another one. Well, if that's been of any use to you, stick me a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.